What's going on everyone? Back here with another story time video. So today I have a lot to tell you. So I'm pretty sure we all wash ourselves and know when to wash ourselves, but when it comes to some people, that rule doesn't always apply. Now, in my fourth grade gym class, there was always this guy who would talk about everyone else's and their breath and stuff and talk about their smell. But he would be the main one that stunk every day and his breath would stink. Now this kid was like a little on the heavier side. We're going to call him Bob. And he was like just one of those weird kids. He was just like a demon child. Like at recess, he would come back smelling like complete crap. And then at one time at recess, I can remember, he was carving tally marks into the play equipment and threw mulch at teachers. This kid was just all around not a good guy and just a huge demon. Okay, so this one time when we were in gym class, he tried to talk about me. And then, of course, I talked back. And then that's when he asked to go to the bathroom right after. And then, not even like, what? He comes back like more than 20 minutes late. And of course, the teacher's outraged by that. So he gets punished for it. But then, he gets after he gets into the office, he brought a knife to school. And if the teacher wasn't outraged, that something could have happened. Now, later that day, at the end of the day, because you know you go to get your stuff and get on the bus for certain people. Well, I went to my locker, and then while I was about to open it, this kid came up to me grabbed my hand and wouldn't let go he wouldn't let go so i told him to let go and then that's when he w he just sat there and didn't say anything his face red like blood and then that's when i had to do what i had to do so i kicked him in the nuts and i ran locked the door in the office and the all the teachers and like the people that were in there was well, like you know kind of concerned why was I running around and stuff so they pr they thought I was playing around and stuff and tried to tell me off for it but then I told them he's he's coming to get me and then they're like who and Bob and then that's when I run up to my bus and I get on as fast as I can and like sitting there breathing heavily on the bus like not even knowing what just happened. So then, the next day, I'm in my gym class once again. And then that's when, right after gym class, we go to science. And my teacher, who we're going to call Mr. Burt, hands me a letter saying that I need to go down to the office immediately. On the way to the office, who do I see? Bob. Even though his friends earlier that day came up to me, thanked me for getting him suspended so then they don't have to spend another day with this kid. And then they told me that he got expelled. But there he was, sitting right in front of me. Right there. And he didn't even say anything. He just sat there watching, giving me the same look he gave me when I was running away from him. So then... He started to laugh, just like out of nowhere. Like as soon as like I turn the corner, all I hear is deep laughter, very scary. Now, when I show up to the principal's office, I open the door, and who do I see? Bob sitting there right next to him. And like, literally, I just saw this kid sitting there and laughing right there not even like 20 seconds ago I was freaked out so then we made up and after that day I never saw Bob again it was like he never even existed none of his friends never talked about him no one everyone forgot about him I kind of feel bad
Maybe if I got to know him, we could have became friends. Now, I know that might sound stupid, but, like, you never know what he's been through in order to act like that.